Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to a very exciting day. Um, I was talking to my good friend Kelly from Feral Art, and we were watching some Kellen Schaub videos on Instagram, and we were trying to figure out what kind of paint he is actually using, and Kelly, who is a super sleuth, found it. So this is TriArt's Art Noise Permanent Acrylic Gouache, and this is the titanium white and I have a bunch of the colors over here that he's got. So we're gonna play today with his paint. Um, I'm also using my little cake spinner that I have taped my canvas down to. This is a 12 by 12. It's also sitting in my tub and I have created a cardboard shield for HOA <laughs> to hopefully keep him and Baxter kind of clean. So, we're going to have right, a play. Back Baxi, go lay down, baby. Baxi, lay down. Down, down. Down, down, baby. Good boy. Nope. Okay, so the game plan for today is to play, to see what happens, to see if using this spinner, which is a little faster than the other one, makes a difference. Um, I also am not sure if I'm going to need to water these down a little bit. The consistency is interesting. It's a lot more gelatinous than... Uh, I'm kind of used to. The white seems to be thinner than everything else where it does actually pour off of the stick. This one is the darker turquoise, which I have added a little bit of water to, and now it's kind of pouring, but it's also still kind of like glooping a little bit, like droplets. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Gouache. Gouache. But we're going to try it and we're going to have some fun and figure it out together. So let's get started. Um, I have a bunch of colors. I have pretty much two color palettes, a green and blue one, and then a bright orangey, pinky red. So what my game plan is, first we're going to just try it with the paint straight out of the bottle and see how it goes. And if we end up needing to add a little bit of water to make it move, we will. So. Um, I think we're going to play with the blue and green palette first. Here's the white that I had open. <laughs> it's very interesting because it feels very liquidy. But Kelly told me that the white ones are thinner than the colors. So we're just going to start with a puddle of this. Wash. In the center. Okay. And then we're going to put down some colors. I love this one. This one is sea foam green. Super pretty. I would say always shake up paint that's in bottles before you use it. <laughs> We're going to give this one a little squirt too. And then let's use some of this beautiful turquoise. I didn't put the lid back on all the way. Okay. Um, let's put some of this one in. This is primary cyan. I'm getting paint all over my lids. I wish I bought like a yellow too or something. Okay, let's uh, let's do a little. Let me get one of these TLP piggy paddles, and I'm just gonna flick this around a little bit. Okay. Kind of neat. All right, let's give that a spin and see how it moves. Ready, honey? Yep. Okay, it's spreading nice. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's a good experiment so far, and I'm kind of happy with how it's moving. So. We're going to do that again, and I'm going to add a little bit more paint to this. I thought I had quite a bit of white in there, but we'll just add some more. Let's do that again. Okay. Uh, let's just stay with that. All right, we're going to flick around. Here we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. 
Let's spin this one out. Ready? I got this tub off of Amazon a very, very long time ago when I started doing blooms. I think it's called Gorilla or something like that. That's looking pretty cool though. All right, now I want to like play, play. So I'm just going to take the white that I have in here and put it down on there again. Now that I know it is going to move, I'm feeling more confident. And I'm going to make my puddles a little bit deeper. Okay. Ready, honey? Yep. Also, figuring out how to flick it is interesting, too. All right. Let's spin this one out and see. Should we add some more color to it or this yeah. looks pretty cool? Alright, we're going to do this again then. <laughs> There's so little paint on there that it's not even covering the sides and edges. <laughs> okay, we're going to put a nice big puddle of white in there. Because it, it flings off instead of yeah, rolling down. Rolling in exactly. So I'm rolling over the edge of the flat earth. <laughs> Okay, let's try flicking. Okay, let's not try flicking. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of looks cool when you kind of get under it and flick it up, you know what I mean? You want paint on the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to put that much stank on it. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, spin this one out and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I think we need a little more color. <laughs> Let's try something just for giggles. Maybe a slow spin to start with, and then we could put some more stank on it. That seemed to work better. <laughs> what would happen if you put paint on there while it was spinning? I don't know, but there's still empty space right here. I think it would just leave a dot if I did it while it was spinning, but you want me to try it? Okay, so I'm going to recommend if you buy these, you buy like four times as much white as everything else. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So slow spin to start with. And then we put some more spin on it. Pretty cool, actually. What do you think, honey? It's cool. Is that one done? It looks very graphic. Yeah, I like it though. It's like you could never paint that with a brush. No. I'm gonna give it one more spin just to kind of get this stuff off to the edge. And then I think this one's gonna be done. I have another couple canvases over there so we can play a little bit more. I'm going to move this one off and we're going to put another one down. Okay, so that looks pretty neat actually. I like that. Oh, cool looking. Okay. Wait, wait, hold it again. It'll start to move if I hold it upright for too long. 
Okay, I'm going to put this one over here. What do you do about the sides? I'll worry about that later. Okay, I'm going to take another canvas. So this is just tape on my spinner to hold it there. But I like the 12 inch ones because they fit right on top of the spinner beautifully. If I put my push pins in the right way. There we go. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, so let's put some white down. I want to try something a little different this time. Wow, that's a lot of white. I'm going to spin this up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put a lot of color on here now. I'm going to give this a little scoop. a little bit of a spin. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more color in here. And now we're going to flip this around. The problem with, ooh, there's a fly. With flicking is it exposes the canvas a little bit, which I don't like. Sorry, it should spread out with the spinning it. Okay, here we go. Slow it first. And then we'll go faster. I kind of like it, but I want to do it again. I think I like the puddle method better. And the flicking method? Yeah, but I'm going to squeeze the bottles harder to try to get some of the paint actually underneath that layer of white. Okay. So now there's color underneath there. There we go. That's cool. Okay. Ready? Yep. Slow spin at first. And now Really pretty. What do you think? There's actually a lot of really pretty color in here. Alright, I think this one's done too. I'm gonna leave this one and I want to play with some of these other colors that I have. Ooh. That tape means business, man. <laughs> So I'm going to put these blues away, and we're going to pull out some of these other colors. So I have a beautiful one that I really like, is coral, I'm excited about. And then I have a really pretty red, this is pyro red. This one I'm really excited about, this one is aubergine, which is like an eggplanty kind of purple. Looking forward to that. Okay, so. Does this one look like that mummy brown? No, shut up. <laughs> Some cadaver thing. What's the cadaver? Caput mortem. That's the one. Okay, so with just these two 12 by 12s, we have now gone through one 16 ounce bottle of white. Buy more white. <laughs> Spin that out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm excited about this. I want to try this eggplant one first. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. And some really pretty coral. Okay, we're gonna wipe this off. Get all the blue off of it. Okay. Shall we flick around? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that's pretty. I like these colors together. Spin that and see what happens. That's pretty neat looking. Alright. Luckily I have another bottle of white right here. 
Okay. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to squeeze it hard so that some of the paint actually goes underneath the white. So when I flick it, that will come up too. Kind of like a dirty paw, because <laughs> you're a dirty girl. Yeah, aren't yeah, you? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Ooh, we don't want mud. Yoink. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Slow spin it first to just get it moving, and then we'll do a faster one. Woo! <laughs> that was going over the edge. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, that is very mixy, subtly. All right, we're gonna play a little bit more. Can you see that edge right there? Yep. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. This is Rose Deep and Orange, Pyrrole Red, and Coral, and the Aubergine. Okay. So, let's see. really pretty. It's very flower petal -y. Yeah. It's like a flower petal. I'm going to spin it one more time. Okay, I really like that. But I kind of want to do it one more time. Do it as many times as you like, doll. <laughs> okay. Put a nice big puddle of white in there. I want to try something. And put some aubergine around that. Okay, let's uh, let's finger flick instead. Ooh, that was cool. I'm getting splatters of orange on that one. <laughs> okay, Kilroy, you don't have to hide. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Spiral. Yay. All right, we're going to spin this nice and slow to start. Let it spread out a bit. Okay, now we're going to go a little harder. That's cool. <laughs> I love the spirals on there. All right, that's Ooh, awesome. Faux shizzle. Um, since I got some orange paint on that one with the blue, do you think I should put it back on here and maybe try all the colors? It's up to you. I'll just try all the colors on that one. So some of it escaped, huh? <laughs> Escape! Maybe you should move that one you just did so you don't do the same thing. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay. We're going to put a lot of white on there. Okay. We're going to use all these colors this time, not just a couple. Rainbow Coalition. Yeah. Put a little turquoise in there. 
Okay, I'm going to flip this one again because that was cool. <laughs> okay, slow spin first. I'm going to get rid of that eye that's right there. And that one. Uh, now it doesn't look like Cthulhu anymore. Yeah, Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're going to flick this again. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I don't like that one as much. Let's try some. That's cool though, I like that red. Yep. And by the way, this uses so much more paint than I ever use. <laughs> In case you were wondering. This is neat. It's like injecting it underneath the surface. I think the flicking worked better. Ooh, <laughs> finger painting. Oh my God. <laughs> Second favorite kind of painting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slipstream. I like that one. Okay. I'm going to leave that one there. <laughs> um, um, what about this one? You think we need to do this one again now that it has all these? I told you not to put it there. <laughs> Let's use, let's do this one differently. Let's put down the puddle of this darker turquoise. And then we'll get some white in there. And then, I'm always worried about being alive. These oranges are losing their weight. Okay, we're going to finish up. Ooh. That's interesting. That's very space themey. This me. one reminds me of Miami Vice. <laughs> but look <laughs> at that swirl on there. That's yeah. awesome. Let's see if we can't spin this out just a little bit more. This is definitely fun, though. If you're feeling stuck or in a rut, this would probably bring you out of it. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to leave that one there because I love this swirl here that happened. And there's like another one there and another one there. And I like that corner too.
Not so crazy about this line of solid, but that's all right. I'm going to get my torch and torch all three of these real quick. So those are all really different and very fun, very interesting. I'm actually going to take this one, just take the spinner out. I'll push it over there. I get these out of the way so you guys can see what we've done. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. Very interesting, and I learned a lot. And uh, I think it's important to play with stuff and to test it and to see what you like and figure out. Now I know I am interested in these paints. I probably will buy more of the white and uh, play with them some more. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A uh, huge thank you to Kellen Schaub for all his inspiration and to my dear friend Kelly from Feral Art for finding these paints and playing with me. And I love the conversations we have about pouring. It's awesome. So we'll be right back with dried results. Okay, so this is a few days later. <laughs> These are the three 12 by 12s that we did using that Tri-Art, Tri-Noise paint that Callan Schaub uses. Um, really interesting results. Uh, observations, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought this was a lot of fun. It was definitely fun flicking the paint and kind of just playing and going crazy. I apologize for the shadow on the paintings from the tree. <laughs> Um, but there was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this a lot. This was, I think, the last one that we did. And there's actually some really pretty spirals in there that came out really neat. A couple of very cool effects. Um, first thing that I really noticed is these are very matte. There's like no shine on there, hardly at all. And touching it, it doesn't feel like the normal texture of our paint that I usually have because I guess it doesn't have that glossy component, the gloss medium or the gloss gel in there. I did not mix them with anything. I really like this blue one a lot. I think this came out really, really pretty. Um, and this was the other one that we did. Very cool stuff. Fun technique. Uh, definitely joyful. Definitely interesting to play and just have a good time. And I really did have fun with that. Um, I think that the paints moved a lot easier on the 12 by 12 with the smaller spinner that spun fast than they did on a bigger one but you guys will see kelly doing that <laughs> so kelly and i are actually doing a mini collab today she has also used the callen job try art noise try noise paints and a beautiful canvas that you guys are going to see right after this so thank you all so much for hanging out with us and for being here um one other bit of news uh, <laughs> last weekend I was playing with Baxter and holding his collar and he did some sort of somersault thing and my finger got stuck and unfortunately I broke my finger so I broke my ring finger <laughs> I have a brace on there right now it's not fun it kind of hurts a lot so we're gonna be figuring out some alternative ways to be doing things with paint for the next couple of weeks <laughs> But anyways, uh, thank you guys all so much for being here. Um, please join us for Kelly's premiere, which is right after this. And uh, we'll have some good times together. This one, I think I like the blue one. I think it's really beautiful. They're all pretty neat. Some pretty, really cool effects up in here. Lots of transparency. Some of those spirals from the flicking, which was fun. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a like, send me a nice comment. And uh, if you can, we always appreciate it if you share the videos. That's awesome. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys at Kelly's. Bye-bye.